Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do the reading for Taurus. This is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the month of September. So we're going to see what comes up. We're going to start right here. What do we have for Taurus for the month of September? Keep in mind the timing is fluid. So what do we have for Taurus for the month of September? What do we have for Taurus for September? New love. Well, okay. Yikes. A new person has stirred. <laughs> oh boy. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. New love, Taurus. That don't scare this shit right out of you. I don't know what does. Um, whew. What do we have for Taurus? What do we have for Taurus for the month of September? New love, new love. Yee. One, two, three, four. What do we got? What do we got for Taurus? Let's just put that one right there. Oh, wonderful. Gavel. Involvement with the law. I. Psychic ability. Trust your intuition. Not. Unsuccessful plans. Tiger. Yee. Doing something risky. Taking a chance. Well, you might be doing something risky by dealing with a new person. That's how I feel about that. And we got a not unsuccessful plans. Hmm. Something's not going to be successful. Involvement with the law. So, however that resonates with you. We could we have a divorce here or something like that. Or something to do with the law. It doesn't have to be a divorce. But you're going to be dealing with law this month. Period. In some aspect of your life. Psychic ability. Trust your intuition. If your intuition says to do something risky and take a chance, well, you know, maybe you should. Maybe you're worried about tying the knot or you're worried about something. Or you're worried about something becoming a knot or being unsuccessful. Um, there's definitely a new love here and I think that's probably a little scary. But anyway, what do we have for Taurus? What do we have for Taurus for the month of September? New person has stirred your romantic feelings. What do we got? It's pretty damn risky. What do we got? Ah! Wounded. Wounded. Scared. Uh, worried. Uh, I'm not so sure about this. Distrustful. You may be distrustful. You may be like, I don't know about this. You know, I don't know. I don't know. This is definitely guarded. Um, you know, you definitely got your guard up. I think that you've been hurt very, very badly in the past, probably a lot of times and you've, you've overcome it, but now, you know, you've definitely, this is guarded, got my guard up, expecting trouble. What, what the, what's up with this? You know, I think that you're probably worried about what's up. Ah! Sorry, but the dramatic, the ahs and the ohs and the, the you keep pay attention to my voice and the things that come out of my mouth because everything that does is part of the reading, okay? There's no such thing as coincidence, okay? So we have a connection here. We do have a connection. It feels as though uh, you take a look at her eyes. She's, she's very... Uh, it seems like there is a connection, but there's uh, worry. It looks like he is more trusting than she is. So, uh, he's reaching for her. She's reluctant. So, it looks like the, the female is a little bit reluctant. Um, but there is definitely a connection here. A union, partnership, two people coming together, but a lot of worry. Ah, the devil. Now, this is about taking control, breaking free from bad behavior. 
A lot of temptation. There's a bond. We do have a bond here. And I think that there's been, there's, there's like an, in, there's a lack of severing of ties. This may be somebody that you know. The devil reversed is needing to take control, but definitely tempted. I think that there, there, I think there's a, there's a lot of temptation here. And I think there's fear with the devil reversed. Fear of getting tied. Fear of getting tied down. But we may have somebody here that now wants to get tied down because this is reversed or wants to connect, but there's a lot of fear. There is a lot of fear. You could be dealing with a Capricorn. doesn't have to be. Um, this is, this is a weakness, some sort of weakness. Wanting to connect. Somebody wants to connect. Oh, yeah. Ten of Cups. Now, this is about happiness. It's about forever. It's about permanent love. We got somebody here that is definitely very attracted. There's a sexual connection. And I feel as though there it could lead to a lot of happiness. But there's a lot of uh, worry. A lot, a lot, a lot of worry. Lur worried about getting tied down. Worried about getting trapped in a situation. But the connection is so real. And there's an, there's an opportunity to have a happy life here with the Ten of Cups is happiness. Some of you could also be breaking free from a relationship. You could be breaking free from, you know... A long-term relationship that you are committed to. You may be severing ties and you have a new connection. You may have been in something that was unhealthy, that was superficial. And now you got this new connection that you just, just don't trust. Ooh. You've got a new partner here. This is an exciting new beginning. There's a desire. There is a sexual attraction here. Yeah, there is. This could be a new sexual partner. There's a new ambition, a new drive, a new desire, a new fresh start for happiness. So you are, are getting an opportunity here. This is, this is very, just do it. Just go for it. This is exciting. It's an exciting opportunity. Handed, that's a hand of God. God is giving you an opportunity that could grow into forever. It could grow into a happiness, okay? Permanent, the permanent love, fulfillment, extreme, extreme happiness. I think there's a strong sexual connection here as well. So this is a new beginning, a new enterprise, a new offer. You're going to be getting a new offer from somebody, a message. You're going to be, this is a new opportunity to start fresh. It's not going to be easy it's starting from scratch. This one is too. This is starting from the bottom. It's not going to be easy. It's going down a new path. This is a new door opening. It's a new enterprise. Okay, It's a new prospect. So you have a new prospect here that could definitely grow. This could grow with hard work. And this there's opportunity for growth here that could grow. This is long term. It could because that's that is that's the pentacle that can grow into something long term and it could lead to happily ever after. And it could I think it could grow pretty fast with if you put in effort. But you gotta get over your fear. And that's why you need to take a chance. You have a new love connection here. I think that it's very sudden. This is a spark. Okay? It's a spark. It's a flame. Okay? You've got this new spark that is making you very, very happy. It's just, it's it's come out of nowhere. It's right in your hand. And I think that you, this is fear. This is fear. And this is fear of getting tied down. Fear of getting trapped. You know, uh... 
you know, there's, there's uh, giving up your independence. There could be fear of giving up your independence because you've been independent and, you know, getting tied down can be scary. So, um, ooh, two of wands reverse playing it safe. There's fear of change here in indecisiveness. I think that you've been, you've been restricting yourself. You know, you've been choosing the safest option. Now you got this connection that is undeniable. It is truly, truly, truly undeniable here. And there's a, there's a strong attraction. I mean, this is, this is very attractive to you. Okay. It really is. This is the hand of God giving you an opportunity that could grow into uh, permanent happiness. Okay. Permanent happiness. Um, but you're going to have to really, really, really take a chance and face your fears. Follow your gut. Okay. Um, you're going to be getting messages from somebody who wants something long term. But I feel like they may be... Even they may be a little bit worried. <laughs> Full reverse. That is unexpected. It is unexpected needing to take a risk. You know, there's a lot of fear here. A lot of fear. Fear of taking a risk. You've got to have faith. The twos are about faith. Okay, and this, this is about faith. You need to have faith. Have faith. Have faith, Taurus. Have faith in love. Have faith in this connection. Have faith in uh, new beginnings because you have a new beginning here. You do have a new beginning here. If you can step outside of your safety zone, don't don't stay guarded. Let your guard down. Let your guard down. I think this is all very sudden because this is like a sudden arrival and this one is too. It's all very sudden for you. All of a sudden, you got this new golden opportunity that has been presented to you. And I think that you are very, very scared. Um, magician. The magician reversed is feeling powerless, feeling out of control. You may not have asked for this. Maybe it's, you feel like it's not the right time. It's or you know you you really weren't ready. But the spark. This is a spark. It's it's a it's it's here. It's here. I feel like maybe you need to not think about it and just do it. Just do it. Don't think about it. Take a chance. Hierophant, divinely guided. Now this is this is uh, this is God. It's a higher power. It is a higher power, higher power that has guided a new connection into your life. You need to follow your gut. You need to believe in yourself, and you need to have faith. This is all happening for a reason. You you may not have asked for this right now, but here it is. Here it is. This may not be what you thought or who you thought it was going to be with that magician reverse. You might be like, that's not who I asked for. Well, this is what you get. Now, the Hierophant is about believing in yourself and following your own path and listening. Listening to the higher power. I mean, this is divinely guided. The Hierophant has a direct connection to God, which is represented by you. So you have a connection to God. And I think that you are being guided to something new that uh, you have manifested it. You have, but it's not exactly what you thought. You may, Because this is manifestation and this is too, but this is reverse. It's like this isn't what you completely asked for, but this is what you get. And this is what you actually manifested. We have a higher power here. Remember I said this is the hand of God. I said it just a minute ago. This is a godly energy. We have a higher power here that has brought in you an opportunity that could last. It could. It could really grow. 
but I, I feel I feel like you it's out of your control and I don't think you like that this is out of control and this is it's out of your control both of these cards it's like you don't like it not being in your control you like to have everything under control and it's out of your control because God is in control there's a higher power in control right you know so I think that's a problem it's like this connection is here right now it's like damn it is like damn I totally understand You didn't plan for it. This is no planning. And you don't have to plan for it. Not when the higher power is involved. You need to trust. You need to have faith. Have faith in this new beginning. You've got a new beginning here. Ah, strength reverse. You may feel inadequate. I thought it here. Now you may feel like you're not good enough. This is this is uh, low self-esteem, lack of confidence, feeling inadequate, feeling doubtful. This is doubtful as well. You really need to have faith. You are being presented with an opportunity that could change your life. Trust me. You have the opportunity to take charge and start a new chapter of your life. This is exciting. You could be dealing with somebody that is very, very spiritual. This is somebody who has a direct connection to God. Maybe it's you. This is definite fear, 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 fear. You are very fearful, fearful of stepping outside of your comfort zone. So I think that you are getting you know, a solid opportunity for happiness, but your fear is hindering your ability to let it happen. This is out of your control. It's out of your control. The universe is in control. God is in control. A higher power is in control here. And I think that's the biggest problem is that you may be trying to fight it, trying to, you know, You're, you're guarded. Anyway, Taurus, I feel as though you are, um, you're going to be developing a connection very, very quickly with somebody. And I feel like you're going to feel weak to it. It's almost like you're, you can't deny it. It's undeniable. It's like it makes you feel sick almost. You probably feel sick because you're so afraid. You are so afraid of it. But I don't think you can restrain yourself from it either. I don't think you're going to be able to stop yourself from doing it. Because the attraction and the connection is so strong. It's very, very, very strong. But there, this is uh, no. This is a no. This is six of wands. This is, this is uh, six of wands reversed is a setback. It is uh, unwelcome news. No staying power. And it could be fear of that. Fear of something not lasting. Fear of unsuccessful plans. Because this is unsuccessful. This is fear. This is fear. So, the, And this is choosing not to go. Not to do it because of fear. This is choosing not to because of fear. So you may make a choice. This is choose are about choices. To not do it because of fear of failure. When this is a golden opportunity that could last forever. Five of Pentacles reversed. So this is light at the end of the tunnel. It's a turning point for you. It's a turning point if you can find your resources, which are strength and courage and faith. It's a turning point for you to let somebody in. But I see you not putting in effort. This is not putting in effort, not trying hard enough.
putting the brakes on, feeling scattered, feeling out of control. There's lack of discipline, lack of faith. There is lack of faith here. I feel like you are trying to stop something from happening. And it's all because of fear. This chariot reversed is, is coming to a dead stop. It's lack of control and discipline. It's emotions all over the place. Feeling scattered. You may be feeling scattered this month because of your, your huge amount of fear. There's, there's a, a need for discipline. There's a need to have faith. That's my main message here. This is replacing fear with faith, but you're not. You have so much fear that is hindering your opportunity for happiness. You have a new connection here that could grow. It could really, really grow. If you could just have faith. You could be dealing with another Taurus. You could be dealing with a Gemini. You could be dealing with a Capricorn. A Leo. A Cancer. An Aries. I do think that you will be getting together with somebody this month and your connection will be deepening. But I think that you will put your brakes on because of your fear. I think that you will put the brakes on. You may try to stop it from happening, but I do think there's a higher power involved. And I think that this is a connection that is very, very strong. Um, it's out of your control and I don't think you like that at all. Um... very 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 fearful and this fearful this fear fear is causing you to miss opportunities and your your fear of you know you're not good enough but you are good enough ah now this is acceptance this is this is the sword of truth it's the sword of power now god is giving you an opportunity to accept because this is acceptance. This is a wake-up call. You will be communicating with somebody. There will be a lot of communication. And you will receive the clarity. You're gonna, probably going to take a new approach. I hope that is the case. This is a new idea or a new truth. Seeing things clearly. Seeing things differently. Queen of Wands. Now this is finding the confidence and the courage and the determination and the strength. To replace that fear with faith. Because this is, this is letting go of fear. The Queen of Wands is fearless. You may be also working on your appearance this month. Working on your health. I feel in the past you may maybe you lost your determination or you lost your discipline, but this is taking a new approach, or finding your discipline, increasing, increasing your ability to restrain yourself from overdoing it. Some of you are going to be communicating with an individual that you are highly, highly, highly attracted to. It's a strong sexual connection. There's opportunity for commitment here and marriage in the future, down the road. I think that you are going to find your courage to step forward. I do. Ah, there's a lot of love to be had. Some of you are dealing with a healer, a psychic, a empath, somebody that is very loving, very sweet.
and you're going to be thinking about relocating. You're going to think and be thinking about, is it worth it? Should I invest in this? Should I do this? What should I do? I feel this month that you are going to be thinking about a commitment. You're going to be thinking about, you know, whether you want to open your heart to this person or not. I think you will be developing a connection. I think that you will be having fun with this person. I think that uh, there will be times where you want to retreat and you step back because of fear. But I think that you will still continue to communicate. And I think that you will continue to build the connection. But the fear is still great. I feel like uh, this is out of your control. It is divinely guided by a higher power. Um, there may be a relocation in the future where... Um, it's time to uh, choose. You're gonna have to make it. And this is a card. sevens or number or about faith as well. It's time faith. This is all about faith. You need to have faith. You need to have faith in new beginnings. You definitely have a new beginning here that has been brought to you from above, with somebody that is very loving. Okay, somebody that is very loving, and you are attracted to this person, and they are attracted to you. I think that this could grow into a long-term commitment, whether it's permanent, and there's a lot of fulfillment here. But you're going to need to have faith um, and let go of that fear. So I think it starts out very fearful, but I think by the end of the month, you, you may be deciding, because this is clarity, you may be deciding that you do want to be in a commitment with this person. Um... So yeah, I do think that you will be getting, you will be, you're, it's almost like your commitment will be stepping it up to the next level. And I think I, I saw that with my last reading, but I feel like that is the case for this one as well. There is definitely a new person that has stirred your romantic feelings. And I think that you're very fearful of, of investing in them. Is it worth it? Is this, is this going to be a one hit wonder? Is this going to fail? I think that's your biggest fear right now, but I feel like you... Um, this is a golden opportunity for you to start from scratch. But with the Page of Pentacles, it's not going to be easy. It's never easy to start at the bottom in a relationship, to start over. You know, it's never easy. You could choose to grow old alone and, and live and die alone, or you can choose to slowly, the Page of Pentacles, slowly build a relationship, you know, one step at a time. And I think that's what you're going to be doing. I think the, the new door is opening, and I think you're going to, I do feel like you're going to go down that path fearfully <laughs> but I think that you need to take a risk and you need to have faith because this is a connection that is very I feel like it's a deep connection this is somebody that um you are very very compatible with I think this is like your mirror okay this is the mirror this is somebody that you have a lot in common with you guys even look alike okay so yeah I feel like you need to have faith that you are going in this new connection I feel like um, this person can bring balance and harmony to your life and likewise you can bring balance and harmony to, to theirs um, I say that because I just cut it to the justice card which is balance okay I think this is what you deserve this is your justice for whatever it is that you were in before that was unhealthy that was toxic that made you so fearful now you're getting you know the one that you deserve okay this is karma giving you what you deserve so I think you're gonna you're gonna be getting what you deserve I think that you're gonna feel, feel very uncomfortable with it um, because it just happens so fast and the connection is so real that you can't deny it and it's out of your control and you like to control things so I think that's the biggest issue here so by the end of this month either you or the person that you are dealing with is is definitely going to be thinking about you know uh, what they want they're gonna be thinking about uh, how they feel they're gonna be thinking about investing and they're gonna be thinking about commitment and I think it's you and the I think you both are I think that the commitment is gonna step it up to the next level um, For some of you, I have to, I just have to tell you that there's a, there's a break, because this is a break. There's a break up from somebody that, and it, this, and you may have broken up with this person a long time ago. It's a severing of ties with somebody that is toxic. And this person, you've probably been in a partnership with this person, 
either for a long time or in the past and it just there's no compatibility there so I do see a split from that person and that split or that person is the one that caused you all this fear I do see an emotional outburst ahead maybe from that person that you were dealing with that person that you were dealing with you know may have they have obviously have caused your lack of faith your lack of faith and trust I mean the six of wands reverse is a loss it is it's a loss it's a failed relation this is a failed relationship so there's a failed relationship that you are breaking free from once and for all. And you are connecting with somebody new. So yeah, I, anyhow, Taurus, you are going to be investing in somebody new in September. And they're going to be investing in you. But it feels like it's bittersweet. I think you were with somebody that didn't show you affection, okay, because the cup is on. They didn't show you inf affection, and I think that's why you don't trust, you don't have faith. But whoever this person is that is coming in um, is real. So my advice is to uh, give them a chance. So you're going to have to replace your fear with faith this month. Good luck.